It is the Friday of Valentine's Day week, so what better time to talk about couples? Tonight I want to talk about a couple that is dominating the headlines with thousands upon thousands of likes and shares. No, no, I'm not talking about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I'm talking about the other it couple this week, a stingray and a shark, or perhaps a stingray and herself. Maybe you've heard about this story this week. A stingray named Charlotte at the Aquarium and Shark Lab in Hendersonville is pregnant and no one knows how. There are no male stingrays in her habitat. The facility believes there are two possibilities here. The stingray could basically be cloning herself or she may have mated with a small shark in her habitat. I want to walk through both possibilities because both are possible and super rare. So let's start with this one. The unlikely couple. Could the father be a shark? She's never been around a male until we put those two little boys in here. Different species do mate from time to time. They're known as hybrids. One example is actually pretty common. Breeding a horse and a donkey gives us a mule. Another one you might have heard of, a tiger and lion breeding the two big cats gives us a hybrid called a liger. And here is one from marine wildlife. It's extremely, it's extremely rare. A dolphin and a whale known as a wolfin. All three of these have actually happened. So, so why not a stingray and a shark? The two fish are in the same family. The facility in Hendersonville even says they found bite marks on the female stingray, which is a common thing for sharks to do when they mate. An expert at Sea Life Aquarium told the NBC affiliate in Charlotte, this probably is not the answer. You see, sharks and rays may be related, but they're more like third or fourth cousins, six or seven times removed. Becca Thomas told WCNC, quote, it is very, very unlikely. Stingrays and sharks, while they are related, they are very distantly related, so it's very unlikely that they would mate together. But the aquarium and shark lab where this happened is not ruling it out. They wrote in a Facebook post, quote, just because something has not happened or has not been documented doesn't make it impossible. Science is discovery. That brings me to option number two. It's called parthenogenesis. The word comes from two Greek words, parthenos, meaning virgin, and genesis, meaning creation. I know that sounds like something out of the New Testament, but this kind of thing happens more than you think in the wild. A study released in 2021 found California condors have virgin births. They can, they can have virgin births. A snake at a conservation center in St. Louis gave birth twice, each time without a mate. Asexual reproduction can also happen in sea stars, crayfish, jellyfish, and ants. So could it happen in a stingray? Maybe. It's a more likely possibility than mating with a shark, but either way, Charlotte's story is pretty remarkable. We just underestimate these poor little fish. It's a once in a bluest of blue moons experience, and it's like, wow. The facility plans to get to the bottom of this. DNA testing will happen soon. And in the meantime, Charlotte's caregivers are looking after her and her pups. This is a video they posted after taking an ultrasound. They expect Charlotte to give birth within the next two weeks. So we'll hmm. find out We'll find out soon, right? You uh, see a dorsal fin on that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, by the way, it is worth noting that we also heard from the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. They agree rays and sharks can't breed because of their reproductive mm -hmm. anatomy. They say that the cloning theory, the parthenogenesis, right. is, is likely the right one. But I don't know. Hmm. We'll find out. I think it's AI. Oh, don't even go there. <laughs> what the do you think, Ken? Conspiracy <laughs> theories are starting. No, I think...